up, guys? This is Tyrone Guy, and it is day 19. Holy crap, we're almost to 20s. I mean, then we still only have 300 some odd days left. Anywho, so again, day 19. It's time to get stuff rolling. Time to get this this show on the road, as they would say. Equip some new gear to those fine folks there. Now, as you can see here, I did play a little bit today. I did level some guys up to get them up and running. We did change up the team a little bit. And I do enjoy doing this here for the first, you know, for the first bit. I do like to do some summons because, well, I do not know how much longer I'll be playing this game. So, use up the gems while we can, right? And I figured what better way to use up the gems than to do it on the beginning of the episode. I sheep. It's a sheep. Oh, she looks like a pretty good... There's a lot of healing potential with this one. Alright. Well, I mean, healing is always good, right? It's always good to have a good healer. Alright. Well, that was the first time that we've gotten that sheep goat lady. So, that's a thing. Go ahead and auto-ascend some peoples. And it looks like that's all we can do. Alright, and... So here at the tavern. Collect that, and now let us get on to the campaign. <clears throat> Alright then. So like I said, so I did do a little bit of revamping of the team. I did quite a bit of leveling of the team. I ended up getting rid of Ogi, uh, <clears throat> Ogi just because, well, I wanted to give a little bit more balance to the team, I guess. I wanted to, to bring some more players into the team. And so I switched him out with, um, with, uh, her down there, that, um, Samira. Just because, well, we needed something, and I was looking at her moveset, and I was watching some of the moves that she had, and I liked the way that some of them looked, so I thought that was pretty cool, and I don't remember who it, who it was. I actually think it was, uh, oh, I can't remember who the heck gave... I think it was, um, Kassos who gave everyone that auto, uh, that auto vampiric skill where every time that they hit, they drain a little bit of HP from the opponents. So that's something. I believe, yeah, I believe that was his, his level 61 skill. Alright, go back. I think it was his. Yeah, all friends have their leech life attributes increased. Yeah. So everyone gets the chance to use some leech life abilities, which is great. Um, there we go. I wanted them to get her to her 61, so that way she could unlock her, her final skill. And it's a passive skill, so, you know, deals a little bit more damage whenever she's using her... Whenever she's using her stuff, so, you know, a little bit of extra damage is always pretty cool. And I do like that chain thing that literally just stops the opponent dead in their tracks. Um, I feel like that there could be, you know, very helpful later on down the road. Because, why not? I mean, what better, what, what's the best way to stop, to beat your opponent, you know, if they can't move? To me, that seems like a pretty good way to beat your opponent. Prevent them from moving, and they're not gonna do too much to you. <sighs> Alright, so let's see here. So I see the dark forest is summoning me. Oh, for the bounty board. I've got some stuff to collect. Oh, no, 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 no. I just want to collect them. Back to the campaign. Actually, I was doing quite a bit of the King's Tower ones. Oh, did I switch it? Okay, yeah, I did switch it. Right I wasn't sure if I did or not. I don't know. I saw that there was an achievement for getting to a certain floor for the... For the King's Tower, and well, I opted to go for it, but I'll do that off screen just because that there seems pretty uh, no, it doesn't really seem like it'll advance me anywhere, I guess. So I will continue on with this here, so that way, hopefully, I can get to you know a boss because getting to a boss would be pretty nice like an actual boss, not I don't know. I'm not sure how high, I'm going to have to check to see what what the max level of the boss for here is. I'm really not sure. 
I mean, I do still love the fact that Lucius has that big shield. Like, that thing is great. So, let's see here. So, what is the final boss? Oh, okay. So, it looks like they're not anything to... Oh, we're almost at a... Almost at an elite hero summon, so that'll be cool. There's a 36 total. It seems like 36 is the magic number. Um, I don't foresee us getting the 36 this round here. I mean, maybe. I guess we'll have to wait and see how long it uh, takes us to do some of these these battles here. And where are we at now? So we're going on to 18. Yeah, I don't think we're getting the 36 tonight. Just because that seems like it would be quite a bit to go. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure that I want to do that. You know, I've actually ran out of things to talk about for this game. Um, originally, I only played this game here to give, you know, to try to see if it was up to the hype, to see if it was, it was worth the hype, and I gotta say, I am enjoying it. Um, I have enjoyed playing it. I've enjoyed the champions. I've enjoyed the artwork. Um, I've, I haven't seen that much of a story for it, though. It just seems like a standard dungeon crawler. Um, a gotcha dungeon crawler where you can choose to pay a ridiculous amount of money for cosmetics and champions. Um, I mean, I guess that's a big thing with mobile gaming, though, is they can give you, like, the, the basics, and then they'll be like, oh, yeah, no, hey, you can spend all this money here. It's like EA. Like, if EA made a, a mobile game, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, after what I saw with, uh, well, any of the new EA games, I mean, whether it comes to any of the sports games or it comes to Battlefront 2 or anything like that, it seems like EA has, I don't even know, it just seems like the pockets of EA are always open and they're always trying to take people's money. For stupid stuff too it's like what the heck was it uh once upon a time i used to work at gamestop and there's this person who came in when one of the new fifa games came out and i think he spent like close to 120 dollars on fifa cards and i was just sitting there looking at him. i was like what the heck are you doing with these here he's like oh well if i use these fifa cards i can unlock players for my team and i was like what <laughs> i was like did ea not give you the team members of the teams for their sports ball game and to me that's really really grimy um unless they're like god tier like soccer players that have like super boosted stats and whatnot but i don't know um when star wars battlefront 2 came out i remember working at games up when i came out and uh one of my uh well, my co actually, no, he was my, what was, no, yeah, he was my ASL, my assistant store leader. Um, if you guys like podcasts, you can go check him out over at uh, Drunk Bill Explains. Tell him that I sent you. Um, but no, he, I, I remember over hearing him and some other clients talking that they would, that EA expected you to spend a stupid amount of money to buy, like, Darth Vader, if you want to play the Darth Vader online. Um, or you can spend a ridiculous, like, 80 hours of game time to attempt to, to build the in-game currency to purchase this character. And to me, that is dumb. Like, that is beyond stupid. It's like, you expect someone to spend, like, double what the game is worth for in-store... It's basically gambling. Think of it that way. That it's like the loot box thing. I think that's what it was, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I mean, it's the same thing for freaking Overwatch. Like, I remember when Overwatch first came out, I played the crap out of it, and, like, I constantly wanted to get those boxes, but I never caved and bought the boxes. I'd always wait till I leveled up or got whatever to get the boxes, and I ended up getting the skins I wanted anyway, so. <sighs> Although, I can say, I can say that I am absolutely guilty of wasting a ridiculous amount of money on a on a mobile game called League of Legends. Um, 
Now, when I was in college, me and my buddies used to play, like, all the time. And buying Riot points was, like, an addiction. Because I wanted the new champion. I wanted to get the bundle, which had both of their new skins. And I wanted to get all this stuff. And it really wasn't worth it in the end of it. Because it was literally just all cosmetic stuff. But it made them look really, really cool. Um, and I don't know. It was definitely one of those things. Like, I can remember looking at a bank statement when I when I got it one day and it showed that I had spent like over $300 on riot points and I was like holy crap I have I have an issue <laughs> like I have a problem um, but I just kept doing it I just kept spending money on League of Legends like I, I wanted to get all these new champions and the worst part is I didn't even play half of them I just wanted them like, I just wanted to be able to say, like, hey, yeah, I, so I got all these champs and whatnot. Um, or I got all the, I got this, like, I got the new skin, or, like, I remember when the, um, the one Ezreal skin came out, the, the animated one. I don't know what the heck it was called, but it was, like, the first, like, what is it, the first legendary skin, or for something. I, I think it was Ezreal, I'm not 100% sure. It was, like, one of the first, um... One of the first really, really cool looking skins. Uh, Demon Blade Trindomir. I remember I bought him right away when he first came out. And it's it's stuff like that when people have money and they don't know what to do with it that they just end up wasting it on stuff like that. And unfortunately, I learned the hard way that that stuff there can hit your bank account hard. Um, and that kind of addiction is why I have such an issue with gacha games like like this here or with shade rattle chat raid shadow legends like i mean i get it the developers they need to make their they need to make their buck too because they're spending all this money on advertisement they spent all this money on designing the game paying the artists paying the whatever the programmers doing all of this stuff to make these games possible but then you have all these people who then go and play and whether they have the money or not they they'll, they will put themselves into debt just to buy the new champion, or just to get a chance to get the new champion, or people who buy the loot boxes, again, with that chance that you might get something, because I remember, like, you see it on YouTube all the time, people saying, like, oh, I'm spending, you know, like, $500 on whatever to not even get it. It's like, really, did you just seriously spend all that money on Overwatch or whatever, spending $100 on gift boxes or gift cards or loot boxes or, you know, stuff like that, and it's, it's insane to see people spend this much, I mean, granted, it's, it's their money, I mean, they're gonna do what they wish, I mean, I'm not their dad, I'm not gonna tell them how to spend their money, um, no, okay, so I guess we are done with that there, because I started to rant, well, okay, I started a rant, oh, resonating crystal, five, Five highest level heroes will automatically be placed in the crystal pentagram. That's terrifying. Um. Well. Okay. Whoa, why is she level 61 now? What? How is she level 61 now? What? I don't get it. How are they level 61 now? I'm so confused. Um, Wall of Legends. What's the Wall of Legends? Collect all. I don't know. I'm collect. Oh snap! Okay. Somehow I got. Okay. Um, I don't know what just happened. But I didn't know that I could put you there. So that was crazy. Um. I am quite curious now if that means, oh my god, they are, whoa, and she's like the strongest one that we have right now, um, okay, uh, wow, okay, so we learned something new, um, yeah. I think we're going to call that a video while I go ahead and I go look at this real quick because apparently that just made this one here, well, stronger than everybody. Alright, well, I'm going to talk with you guys later and...
yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a have a good one. Bye now.